All right, let's try this again. Go. We're getting there. So this is an update on Iris. I got it to run, but you may notice uh, kind of bugged. So still testing it. Uh, we're still not going to be officially on Iris yet because um, parts of the world are not wanting to load. But the parts that have loaded look amazing, but we're, we're still on hiatus. All right, back to Optifine. <laughs> What is up, friends, family, and assorted gamers? It is Stu Stu Magoo here, coming at you with another Minecraft episode. Uh, today I'm going to do a little bit of organizing and a little bit of work on the village and the farm. So one of the things that got added in to this new update is chiseled bookshelves, which are going to be really useful because we have all those enchanting books that we just have lying around. So I believe, yeah, that's the recipe. Chiseled bookshelves. So I was thinking we could actually put our the bookshelf here in the corner. I know it's kind of a dark corner of the room. But we just throw a couple of them over there. Woo, right outside. Let's see, one of these. Yeah, we have all of these all of these books that we can just put in the shelves. Oops. Go back to our house. Ah, it's one book per slot, huh? So what, each of these can hold like six books? Okay. There we go. Now we, now we have a bookshelf next to our record player. I'm off to s still play with uh, whether we're able to get that to work properly, but uh, th that was just something important for me to do. So my next thing, ooh, the cherry, le oh, the cherry's grown. I was waiting for this. Come to Papa, and how, how is this doing? How are we doing on production? Several stacks, that's what I like to see. Doot, doot. That's the only reason that door is there. If I see sugar cane that I can access, of course I'm gonna do it. Oh man, is it sunset already? Well, let's at least uh, knock this tree out. Oh, cherry wood. The beautiful particle effects of the falling. I love it so much. Like this, this wood type is incredible. And I definitely want to build something with it. Maybe, maybe we'll build a pig pen. We haven't had a pig pen yet. And I think, you know, pigs, pink, it, it could be kind of perfect. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna build a pig pen next, and then then we'll get to working on my village project because there are two parts to the village project that I think are important. Is there any more? Is this? Did I did I get all the logs? All right, something tells me I didn't get all the logs, but I will still replant. I have to check how this is decaying in the morning. But yeah, soft, uh, soft voxels light 2.0. Let's go. It does look a lot better in my opinion. Like that, you can tell a lot has changed, and it looks a lot better. Oh, yeah, and our bookshelf looks better at night when you don't have the harsh sunlight shining on it. Maybe we'll play with positioning a little bit. And might as well make that go all the way up to the ceiling, too. Let's 
Eventually gotta give our LAs a job. I just don't know how to use LAs. For anyone watching, like, let me know how you like to use LAs. And what you do with them in your world. Because I just... I, I have no clue what to do with them. They're just kind of there. I know eventually I need to move them off my back porch and give them a proper home. I just... I, I wouldn't know where. Alright, let's take a... Let's make a good stack of these cherry planks. I want to see how they look in world. Just find a nice spot here. Yeah, that's like a really strong pink. I like it. So I think I think we'll uh, build a pig pen. And I will uh, most likely throw that in a montage. And I'm thinking I'll put the pigs right across from the chickens. We have this nice little area down here in which we can build a, a cute little pig pen. And uh, probably model it somewhat after the chicken coop, just not as raised up. Like maybe take like this kind of barn-like structure, but move it down uh, to ground level, and then have like a mud pit. So uh, I think a mud pit would be a good idea. Oh yeah, man, these things grow quick, and the sapling drop rate is generous, and I appreciate that. <laughs> Uh, with the oak trees up here, we had such trouble with the drop rates. That that will work. Now the goal long term too is to get Iris actually working so we can enjoy some of the more interesting intense shaders. But, you know, one step at a time. I'm going to plant another one over here. I really like it. I might even just keep one around the base just to have... I love this wood. Got that like stripe in it. Oh. My heart. I'm so happy. The leaf effect is just amazing. So, you know, if I could, I'd probably need to go back and uh, harvest some of those uh, cherry doodads. But, anyways, let me uh, take up. Gotta go visit Mendel, too. I think I have some more spare books lying around. But I, I want to go through mending on our uh, flint and steel. Alright, I think I put spare books in this one. No, but I do have leather. And I can get paper, and that's just as good. We haven't visited our old friend Mendel on screen. I've been doing so much of the villager stuff just off screen. And it's not necessarily on purpose. I just feel like it's boring and I can't commentate over it as much. Alright. Uh, one, two, three. Put our pieces of paper. The glow on the glow light can for soft voxels is so intense. It's funny. All right, there we go. Let's go. Let's go visit our friend Mendel. Now I, I really do need uh, to build a better path to the igloo because what we got going on right now doesn't necessarily work. It's a very asymmetrical way to get there because I have to get all the way down there, and I really need to just like build a bridge over the water. Build a road and honestly dig a tunnel. Honestly, the 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 digging the tunnel might be the most uh, important aspect. I gotta throw a door on there too. I don't know why I've never thrown a door on here. Maybe I'll make it a cherry door, just cause I I want to. Oh my goodness, look at those. It's perfect. Alright, let's get down. Oh. Complete darkness. One thing, uh, soft voxels doesn't really do light shafts coming down super well. Hey, guys. Yeah, I need a mending book. Thank you. 
How close are you to leveling up? You sell clocks. You sell fortune, sweeping edge. Yeah, I got fortune three a couple times on that. Oh, glass actually levels him up pretty quick too. Kind of want to get him to his next level. One, two, three. Oh yeah, hey, we can actually level him up. I needed glass anyway. All right, level up. Master. That's what we came here for. Name tags. Pretty cheap, too. Super pleased with that. Meanwhile, ooh, bills are expensive. We need to get an iron farm going because we could just sell him iron ingots once they are uh, accessible. Ooh. Yeah, that's a lot of fortune books. I don't know if I want to take those all home to the bookshelves. Uh, maybe we'll build a library uh, at the actual village. Oh, and I had books down here already. I'm smart. All right, to the anvil. All right, here we are at the anvil. We'll put mending. Hey, it works. Name them Old Flinty. Old Flinty. That'll work. Got Billy Shears and Old Flinty. Alright, and then Shield on, because Pokemon. Alright, so what I'm going to do is actually go to the spider farm for a bit. Um, I don't think anyone... Whoa, 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 I miscalculated. I've largely made this safe, but it's still terrifying. Oh yeah, I think that's where... And that's my stop. So I notice a lot of the bugs from the previous soft voxels are fixed, so caves don't look mysteriously light in the distance. Uh, the lighting overall feels better. And look at that. That's like the cool part of soft voxels is just... Oh, is there iron up there I had never noticed before? That seems to be like a a theme when I'm in these caves, is there's just iron I've never noticed before that I should have mined a long time ago. Alright, that's my silk touch. I don't really want that. I want my fortune. Wow. There would be gravel in the sailing. Thanks. All right, all right, all right. But I did want everyone to at least see that. Oh, yeah, and this is our new guy. He's Silk Touch, though. Probably going to get a separate diamond shovel that is not Silk Touch, but still try to get efficiency on it. See how that goes, though. We don't always get what we want in life. But as my aunt once told me, you get what you get, and you don't throw a fit. Does fortune work on a... Maybe, I'm, I'm pretty sure fortune works on that. Alright, well, I think we got all the iron that fell. Unless we didn't. I don't really care so much about copper. I should care more about copper than I do, but I don't. I have to be careful. It's such an insta-click. Oh! Oh, that's right, because they added the, the calibrated skulk sensor. That's right. Alright, well, let's see. That worked out. We'll have to do stuff with that. Now I've like cluttered up my inventory again. I'm really bad about just cluttering up my inventory. I actually want to go make that little cave thing safe. Because I've been staring at that a lot. I hear a skeleton. Ow. I wasn't ready yet. <laughs> Uncle. I've actually never been down this way. Oh, well, Endermen have been here. 
Wow. That is just beautiful. You can see how distracted I am. Came down here to farm XP at the spider farm. And I'm like, ooh. Look at all this stuff. Look at all this amethyst. Look at all the new soft voxel features. And the handheld lighting thing still doesn't work. I was told he fixed the handheld lighting. And he didn't. Or maybe it's the setting that I didn't see. Or maybe it only works in Iris. Which, uh, RE66, whatever, RE36. Ooh, gold. Yes, please. I will never say no to more gold. Especially now that gold is so much more useful to us. This crack in the earth is going down pretty deep. I actually didn't expect this little cave outlet to go that deep. I was mostly just trying to light stuff up to for convenience. Oh, are we really just going to open up into the bowels of the earth here? I'm going to go through like all my torches, huh? But I don't see any hostels. And I did find more iron. I know iron kind of has become a bit of a meme with me. Because uh, of how hard it was for us to get iron initially. Like we had, we had a rough go of it with iron for a while. Long time in this series. I think this is the bottom. Yeah, that's the bottom. Man, that crack in the earth was surprisingly deep. Did I fill up my inventory already? Oh, it's because that skeleton. Oh, and this random piece of andesite. I hate wasting blocks. I didn't do a proper clearing of my inventory before I came down here. Alright, well the bone's renewable, so I can throw that aside. Put the andesite there, get the bone back. And then, honestly, go unload my inventory before returning here. Oh, but there was another piece of iron up there. Real quick, I want to finish out this vein at least. Huh. I don't think there's anything else up there. No. Alright. I'm going to do a cut, and I will, I will uh, see you guys after I've bought some more spiders. I got distracted again, <laughs> and uh, after farming levels in the spider cave, I decided to go caving, and I'm glad I did, because there's a diamond there. I don't think there's any more diamonds, but, you know, free diamond, I'll take it. It's just so easy to get distracted in this game now. But this was a, a beautiful area that I came across in our cave. Looks like this connects to the uh, greater mineshaft network. Ah! Oh, melon seeds! Yes! So happy to get melon seeds. Another diamond. I'll put that in there. We don't need that. I'll take the spare torches. Sharpness four. I will take that. That'll be good for re-enchanting a sword in the future. That was a good haul. You know, that was the main reason I had been in these mine shafts for so long. That and actually... Uh, these. And I really want minecart tracks. We don't really need the beetroot seeds. We have plenty of. Ugh. I don't know what's been going on with the frame rate either. You'll have to forgive me. Um, ever since I uh, switched to the new soft voxels, I've been getting this occasional frame rate stutter. There we go. 
We got chains and stuff in here. That goes down further. That kind of staircase is down kind of nicely too. Uh, I don't think this is another level of the mine shaft. But hey, we got diamonds. That was really cool. So, with melon seeds, I think now I have everything that I need to make the farm that I want to make. Oh, ne never get over how beautiful this game is. The glow lichen in this cave in particular is just chef's kiss. Amazing. Mm, throw that cobblestone down. Oh, hello, zombie. I'm not really in a mood to play right now, zombie. Now we'll go here. Shouldn't be too many hostile mobs over here. I eventually gotta just build a better bridge and path to get to and from this area. And I know eventually I'll need to plug up this water, but for now the water is super convenient. So I haven't. Boom. Oh, one more. Yeah, I can do one more. Fortune. Love, I love the fortune enchantment. It's made all the difference. But not bad. We, we did a pretty good job uh, looting and caving. Alright, well I'm gonna get back... Uh, ah, the spider farm. Oh, my heart. Alright, I'm gonna go head back topside. So I will see you guys in a moment. All right, so inventory has been managed, and now we are back here at our base. Put everything away. Kept the melon seeds on hand for now, because that's like the next thing I'm going to do. But uh, first, we're going to build a pig farm. Um, so I know for the chicken coop, uh, we had a pretty simple design for the actual coop itself. So I think if I start it here, two, three, four, two... Three, four, two, three, four. Because the pigs don't need like a super big. This is more just going to be like a lean to, you know. Because, uh, see, that only has like one, two, three blocks of height to it. Maybe a fourth on the inside. I can't tell. After have to rewatch my, my own uh, little tutorial. Uh, but I'll build these about four up. All right. One, two, three, four. Oh, I, I, I didn't. I'm a dummy. See my build process in real time. I can always shorten this up. I most likely will shorten this up. Um, let's see. Oh, I probably should have brought a crafting table over here too. I don't want to make it out of the cherry wood. Ow. All right, get some stairs and whatnot. Stairs and slabs. There we go. I need to get more wood. That is okay. We can we can do that. I mean, for this one. Okay, yeah, they did kind of that. Well, I do want to try to... 
do kind of a thing like this. Ah, uh, that block placement is not the best. I feel like that's a bit of a wide gap. I think the level I need to be operating at is a little bit lower. Closer to like that. And then see if I can, uh, might even pull that out. I'll have to see. If I go like that, have the wall behind it, we will uh, cut that in half. I could put it behind it like that. And do it like that instead. That might be, whoops. Might be a bit much. I might need to recess that into the build. Because the other option, because I don't want to take up like all the room in here. And I could take some of this glass. Make it into panes. We have silk touch now, so I can experiment with glass. But if I if I put glass here, how would the panes? That's not horrible. What about a fence post, though? I'll switch back to silky. Yeah. I remember that correctly. I need a bunch of you guys and you. Yeah, look at me remembering. Surprised I did. Silk touch is so necessary. Um, and then what if I put a block on either side? Well, it looks a little busy, but I don't hate it. All right, I think I'm just going to slap approved on that. All right, we are going to need to sleep, though. I always carry a bed with me. No, I accidentally broke part of my road. I didn't name this diamond shovel. I should name it. All right, let's uh, replicate this. So I get to get rid of use and use. This is my normal creative process, is just to try random stuff like this. It's, but I, I feel like it does give it a bit of a depth that I otherwise wouldn't get. And so I'm okay with it. Like it adds interesting shapes to this. Oops. Come on now. Perfect. And then I'd want to do a similar roof to the chicken coop. So we have stair, stair, stair. So it starts out here by the looks of it. Oh, 
Yeah. Yeah, Alright, looks like it starts about here. That doesn't make any sense. How tall are these? Oh, okay. I might have just made this one too high. Now, how would that affect the, what I got going on here? It does kind of cut into it. And it almost makes having stairs there useless if I do it like that. You always have to question, does it serve the build? You know, I did want this to be a bit of a shorter building anyway. I'm going to roll with it. And we'll see how much I like or hate it later. And I might pull this cliff face back a little bit. Some of these buildings are just, uh, they're, they're always bigger than I anticipate, and I always think I have more room to play with than I actually do. Yeah. You know what? I'm still pretty okay with this. Boom, boom. All right, we just have to make a lot more. So I'm gonna cut down some trees. And so while, while I'm just mindlessly building, cause I was thinking I was gonna montage this and now I'm thinking I'm not gonna montage it because I just decided to start talking and doing it. But uh, YouTube commenter or anyone watching this video, any of the new subscribers, old subscribers, and you're watching this, uh, you probably saw the clip that I'm throwing at the beginning in which soft voxel, or the iris, fabric, all the like fabric mods and stuff, they're not loading right. Uh, the textures are, like I have these massive gaps into the void where I'm seeing through the world. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Um, I could post screenshots to the community tab. And I'll post some... That's what I'll do. I'll make a community post with images. And that community post will be like, Alright guys, here's how Iris is breaking for me. Here's what Patrick's community says is needed to run. I really am afraid to ask for help in the Patrick's Discord because um, they have a low stupidity tolerance there, which I respect. They get so much... Like, everyone every two seconds is asking the same, my game's doing this, or I can't get this texture to load. And uh, they're just besieged by that all the time. So I don't want to offend or annoy the mods over at Patrick's. Uh, so I will look to you guys for help. So anyone who has, like, extensive shader modding you know, experience uh, with the Iris and Fabric family of mods. I definitely need your help. You know, I, I just, I really want to be able to deliver on uh, being able to play with some of the more intense shader packs. But at the same time, like, I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> And I'm old, you know, I'm 30. I'm like over the hill as far as like Minecraft and knowing how to do stuff goes. What did I do? My chickens. Is there a ceiling in here? There is. I guess at this level there's just a ceiling. That's a cozy little little pig thing, and we'll we'll get we'll we'll play with this too. All right, 
Um, I really love the pink cherry wood, and I know there's like more that I'll be able to do with this. I can't quite reach my crafting table from here. I do have to also address that hole into the void here, so I might even clean up that cave mouth opening. Maybe do something really cool with it, maybe with amethyst. But I definitely don't want it to just be a, a crack in the world so close to our base. Alright, and it looks like this is just filled in with blocks. All right, there we go. Our pig coop. I guess we'll fill that in. Or no, maybe we'll put stairs again. Yeah. Or what if we put the stairs right side up? Yeah, it gives us shapes. Uh, I, I like making weird shapes. All right. And on this side, um, I think I'll do, we definitely need to have these in place. Yeah, do that on the other side too. Yeah, and we put like a lantern right there. Oh boy, we'll be cooking with bacon. Next step is going to be actually like locating pigs to put in here. It's always a funny little thing that I montage away, but... Gotta actually think about it now. Because this side we want to be a little more open for the pigs. So I might drop this one level. We put that there, that there. Like that. We get our stairs. There, and that keeps it nice and wide for the pigs. And I could even... Do a nice little opening like that. And the uh, pigs can get in and out. We'll definitely have to play with this a little more. not really using slabs at all. And then what we'll do... is make a bunch of fences. And we'll make this a uh, little area of the pig pen. We'll worry about lighting it a little later. All right. Bunch of cherry fences, let's go. I don't wanna go too hog wild. Alright, and now we gotta at least make a fence gate, so... Oops. Only give me one? So stingy. Alright, well, that's fine. 
I'll have to get more sticks in a bit. At the very least, we have one. That's the bare minimum. I was actually thinking of having this come out a bit. Oh no. Where did you guys spawn? I hear you. That was very close too. That was a close murmur of pillagers. Which I don't like. Yeah, we'll bring that up to here. And we'll just let this follow the contours a little bit. It doesn't have to be like perfectly symmetrical. And then we'll line up the fence gates uh, with the opening here. I think, uh, oh, I don't know if three fence gates is overkill or not. I think the pigs can fit through one. But look at that. I like it. And we'll, uh, you know, put some safety torches up. But on the actual uh, build itself, we'll uh, put a nice lantern up here. Same on the other side. Um, probably, let's see, if I dig this out. Yeah, we can put a lantern up there too. Let's go make some lanterns. I don't see that pillager though. Where are those pillagers I heard? They were insanely close. They down there? They weren't just a figment of my imagination, were they? Did they despawn already? Pillager murmurs that are they up here? I'm actually really concerned now. Where are these pillagers? They've come for the allays. Oh, you know what? Um, this whole retaining wall is kind of redundant now. I just realized how... Yuck that looks. Oh, silk touch, I totally forgot. Um, I don't see the pillagers. They sounded really loud. I don't see movement. They're being obscured by the trees. Oh, there they are. I see you. They see me. All right, well, let's go. Let's go battle some pillagers. You'll never take me alive, pillagers. Oh, one of you has an enchanted bow. Shoot your leader. I don't want bad omen. Yeah, woo. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's a bad spot to be in. Yeah, you guys saw that. Oh, that was... Is there another one? Oh. What a battle. That was my adrenaline rush for the month. Holy moly. Like pin cushioned with arrows. Wowza. Good distraction. All right. Here we go. Here we go. So now what I'm going to do to make this a proper pig pen. 
can probably actually do this by hand. Well, I'm gonna need to get water again. Shouldn't have destroyed that water source I made earlier. It's okay. Might actually be able to borrow water from the from the farm. Oh, or not, I realize. Oh, yeah, well, it's behind that. I don't think it's necessarily accessible. Yeah, the hitboxes are gonna block me. Oh, nope, I did it. But what we can actually do this is a mechanic that, uh, should have explored before, but what we'll do is make them a nice. Uh, mud bath in this area. But I want to say I want the mud bath to be about yay big. Because I don't want the entire thing to be mud. But I would like to have elements of mud. Real quick, I'm just going to make an infinite water source right here. Should be close enough to that torch where it won't freeze. If it does, I'll just get frustrated, that's all. In fact, I'll just put torches around it. Stay warm. Now, my calculations are correct. I put dirt here. No? I thought you uh, put it on dirt. Or maybe it's a crafting table thing. I know you. there's a way to make mud. I could have sworn that's how you made mud. You, can you not craft mud? Was I mistaken? I really thought there was a way to turn water into mud. Or dirt into mud. Mud. Oh. Uh, I guess you can't craft mud. Alright, well we'll have to find a swamp biome then. And then learn how to make mud. Or I'll have to go to Minecraft Wiki. But anyways, guys, uh, I will go ahead and get some pigs. And then I will come back with the pigs. And then I'll figure out what I'm doing wrong. I could have sworn there was a way to turn dirt to mud and mud to clay. But again, I am I am old. I don't remember things like I used to. Oh yeah, and we gotta get those uh, lanterns going too, so we'll go throw my uh, trophy of war here as a warning. just wish I knew what I was doing wrong. Multiple of three should work. I think three lanterns is what we need. Such a head scratcher. Is quite the mystery. Oh yeah. I like it. It's cozy. Well, anyways, I guess that'll be enough for this episode. I've been going for a long time, and yeah, I'm gonna make some edits, but it's still, uh, you know, this has been a long episode. So, this has been Stu Stu Magoo. Thank you all so much for watching. Please uh, leave uh, any tips, tricks, tutorials you know of. Uh, link me out. Message me. However you want to get a hold of me, just uh, direct me to any fabric and iris installations. And uh, watch out for that community post about Patrick's because I, I want to figure it out. I want to know what I'm doing wrong. But at the end of the day, this has been Stu Stu Magoo. 
Hope you have a better and safe rest of your day. Thank you so much again for watching. Bye.